Hi everyone. Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to upgrade your Synology disk station. First off, you're going to want to go to your control panel. Once you're in your control panel, you're going to want to go to DSM Update. Now I'm currently running DSM 4.1-2668 and it says here next to status that there is a newer version, DSM 4.2-3202. And I've already gone ahead and selected to download it. Right here you can see check and download. I don't have that check mark because I like to wait a week or two just to see if an update may break an existing program or package that I have installed. Now it's almost been a week here. There's been a few updates. I think there was an update to Python. But other than that there really hasn't been a whole lot of problems that I've heard about. So I'm going to go ahead and update now. And all you, all you have to do is once you've downloaded it, this where it says update now will change to update now. Go ahead and click update now. Ask you are you sure? And some of the some of the things that are new in this update, there's quite a quite a bit in this. It's not a small bug fix or anything. This is quite a substantial upgrade here. One of the things, well a few things that I noticed that stuck out to me was the smart test scheduler. You can now perform smart tests according to individual schedule. So now you can run a smart test once a month or you can and you can also set it to automatically test all disks all at once before you had to set it up for each individual individual disk. Volume creation and expansion enhancements. They've uh, increased the speed of the volume creation and resizing. They say up up to 14 and 85 times. So that, that should be substantial because when I expanded my volume it did take quite a while. I want to say almost 24 hours. The Apple file pro protocol has been, the speed has been enhanced so they say the speed of file transfers to the disk station has improved up to 52% between they're comparing it between DSM 4.1 and 4.2 now anyone that's done a time machine backup especially their very first one they know how slow Apple file protocol can, can be let's see the another one that stood out to me was the file station now instead of a single page of files listing only 300 at the most, now it will list up to a thousand. They have a thumbnail view, file and pictures can be displayed as large icons or thumbnails or pictures if available. If you're use, into using shortcuts or hotkeys, they finally added the control A to select all, cut for control X, copy for control C, paste, control V, and delete before you actually had to right click on the file to delete it and rename they have that set up for F2 so those those will come in real handy especially if you're used to Windows already oh and then they've uh, done some safe or security enhancements they have a two-step verification and account activity it says it adds an extra layer of security to your disk station manager account once two-step verification is enabled anyone trying to access your account will need a one-time six-digit code displayed on your smartphone in addition to your to your DSM password. Account activity. This feature lets you view your current login session and login history. A firewall and security. They've come up with a few enhancements there. Denial of service protection. Customize block and allow IP list for auto block. So now you can manually add IP addresses to block and allow. So that'll help protect your network. Bluetooth support, stream music and Bluetooth. You can connect multiple USB Bluetooth adapters to your disk station and connect to A2DP Bluetooth devices such as speakers or headphones. So you could uh, stream music to your Bluetooth speakers around the house. That, that might be kind of cool. I don't know what kind of range you have with Bluetooth. And some miscellaneous upgrades here. Apache has been upgraded. PHP, I've heard that, that uh, they include Perl now. And some people, if you don't use it, you can just go ahead, it, for whatever reason, I've heard it installs after you install DSM 4.2 and starts running. Some people say if you don't use it, you might as well stop it. And then if you enable SSH service and it's open 
its port is open, 22 is open to the internet, you may notice many attempts to access your disk station in system log logs because SSH connections are now recorded. So they recommend to protect your disk station, configuring firewall settings to allow only IP addresses to access your disk station via SSH. Quick Connect can now support more mobile apps including DS Photo and DS Audio and DS Cloud. And Quick Connect is just, I think it's maybe an 8 or 10 digit number that rather than typing in your DNS address or your, your outside IP address to your disk station, you can just type in this 10 digit number and it will connect to your machine. Alright, our disk station is rebooted and if you come down here you can see it says Synology DSM 4.2.